it is time for <gasps> the Derek X Mike Anime Challenge! This I challenge week, you. I challenge you to watch Berserk Episode 12. And you challenge me to watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Episodes a ton. 34 through 36 to be specific. <laughs> so let me ask you, Derek. Berserk Episode 12. What do? It do some big old Casca backstory type of thing. Uh-oh, Casca backstory. And, uh, as we know uh, from the last episode, Guts and Casca are still in that cave, and she just decided to, uh, you know, wait till their enemies are off their back and get warm, and she just went off into her backstory. Mm -hmm. And so, turns out that Casca was from a village that was very poor, they kept getting raided by bandits, and uh, one day a nobleman comes and wants to buy her off of her father. And her father is like, well, since I don't have enough food to feed these kids anyway, here, you can have her. And at first she's like kind of happy that she's maybe going to get a better life. But when they're in the carriage, of course, the nobleman immediately tries to attack her mm. and force himself on her, which, mm. you know, who didn't see that coming? She even says it herself, looking back, I probably should have seen that coming. Yeah, she was a child. I mean, I, I like yeah. the fact that even in the face of all that violence, she still had hope. Like, it just sucks it was taken away. It was very, very graphic, but he uh, rips off her shirt and is about to rape her. And then Griffith shows up mm -hmm. aboard his steed, a white shining knight. And he throws a sword to the ground and he tells her, if you have something to protect, pick up the sword. And she picks it up, runs it through him. And she says to herself, she doesn't know if he fell on it or if she stabbed him herself. Yeah. But either way. This was she, a new a direction man. that her life. Yeah, she yeah. killed a man. This is a new direction that her life is going in. And it just shows uh, moments of her and Griffith, her admiring him from afar, her becoming his number two. And they uh, eventually reach this castle with this king who has a bunch of slave boys. And they all look kind of dead eyed and in rags. And apparently he's been using them for his personal pleasure. And Gross. It's like, Jesus, this show. <laughs> The show is really yeah. into it. They do not and, shy away from the abuse of children, which is a thing, but just, man. Ugh. Yeah, and Casca one night, is walking by the castle, and she sees Griffith with no clothes on in the nobleman's bedroom window. window. Yeah, yeah, bedroom window. And then he kind of just puts his arm around him and brings him back in. And then the next scene, we see Griffith in the lake bathing himself because, I mean, he just gave himself up for this nasty old man uh -huh. and Costas is asking him like why would you do that he's, and he said to himself i have a dream and that dream is to build my army up but my army costs money and in order to get that money i'm willing to do whatever it takes and uh actually before this i skipped it but a kid who had joined them ended up dying in on the battlefield mm -hmm. the kid that they had taken in that really hit griffith hard that's why he was doing this because if he had the money he didn't want to lose any more kids yeah yeah he didn't want to lose any more kids so if he had the money to take care of his entire army of grown men he wouldn't have to have children in there basically yeah. and griffith is disgusted with himself as well he's actually like clawing his skin and the way it's animated is crazy like he literally breaks the skin of his arms and, and he digs just, into it as he's like yeah. lamenting. Yeah. Oh my god! And it, it was just so crazy. And then Koski runs up behind him, hugs him, is like, "Griffith, stop! What are you doing?" And he just turns around and immediately regains composure, places his hand on her head, and I forget exactly what he says, but it's, I'm sure you you remember. Do you remember what he says to her? No, not exactly. Not at that point. I remember Basically, when she goes, he why would you do that with him? And he goes, for the money, of course. Right, for the <laughs> money. And I'm like, oh, Griffith, you dirty bastard. <laughs> but he places his hand on her head, and she's he just completely reassures her. And yeah. she's like, wow, this, this is a very strong man here. And then we see when Guts starts to come around, and she sees how he's treating them. And at that point, she knows that she's not going to be the chosen friend that Griffith has been looking for because she sees how he treats Guts and she don't like it. So that's pretty much why she hates Guts because Griffith saved her life and she's wanted to repay him and be his friend, but he just, he never really looked at her like that. Yeah, they never connected on the same level that she sees Guts and Griffith connect. Yeah. Yeah. So Which, it really That's sucks. rough. Yeah. And the episode ends with uh, some of Shooter's soldiers are still looking for Guts and Casca. 
So they have to get dressed and get moving, and that's where we leave off. Oh, this next episode, dude. Hype. Yeah. Okay. Super hype. Like hype episodes. Yeah, Guts is about to get a well-earned nickname in this next episode. <laughs>